spirit, supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, these are the true sayings of the Heavenly Father. So this is the supper, this is the marriage supper that they're being bid to, man. Which these people are turning their back, you know, because they're two-thirds. Like, like the scripture says in verse 8, it says they were not worthy. So now I'm going to jump. I ain't going to jump. I'm going to just keep reading through um, verse 9 again. It says, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. Right? Because uh, Yahweh Shah uh, used, used another parable um, as in fishing. When you throw out that net, you gather up the clean and the unclean uh, 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 animals that's in the water. And you throw the unclean animals away and you keep the clean animals, you know? So that's the one-third and, and, and the two-thirds being cast into the fire. It is verse 11. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there was a man which had not on a wedding garment. Meaning he didn't prepare himself. Like in Revelations 19 said. I'm going to read it. 19, Revelations 19 and 8. It says, and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen. That's the wedding garment, right? Mm -hmm. It says, for the for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. So this guy didn't have a garment on, man. Uh, verse 12, Matthew 22 and 12. And he saith unto him, friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Can you get revelations? Uh, oh, you already got it, brother. 16, 15. Revelations 16 and 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. See? Lest he walk naked and they see his shame. See? Lest he walk in sin. So this dude was still bound with his sins, man. So I'm going to read this again. Matthew 22 and 12. And he saith unto him, Friend, how camest thou in thither not having a wedding garment? The garment is this truth, is this word. Right? It says, and he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth for many are called, but few are chosen. And he was cast into outer darkness. What's that outer darkness, man? He was cast into that lake of fire, man. He got that nuclear destruction. That's what he received. And then, um, and we're going to end it with Luke 14. And uh, I'm going to start at verse 17, 16, Salakia. Luke 14, 16. It says, Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many. Now, this is this, this the wedding supper that we just read in Matthew 22. And he sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready, right? Come eat of this wisdom. Come eat of this of this word, of this truth. And they said, and they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. You know, and that's somebody who, who, who's caught up all in their work, right? And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. Same dude, man. He, he First dude caught up in his goods, Salakia. The first dude caught up in his goods, he bought a piece of ground, you know? So he caught up in his material things. The next guy had five oxen. He's caught up in his job and his work, right? In verse 20, and another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. And this guy caught up in his bitch. So these dudes got all these different excuses, man. And you know, and, and, and niggas today, they got all three of them excuses, but now they got excuses where the Bible says to go out and teach. Right. You know? So you just say a wicked man making an excuse. That's right. That's right. So verse 21, Luke 14, 21. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house being angry said to his servant, go out quickly into the streets in the lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. Right? So those are the sick, man. As a matter of fact, the Spirit brought it back. And you get Matthews 10 and uh, uh, you can
could start again at 7, but we're going to read to 8. I'm going to read this verse again. Verse 21, Luke 14, 21 says, So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Salakia. Like then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. Right? Go ahead, brother. Uh, Matthew 10 and 7. And as ye go preach, saying, The kingdom, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, mm -hmm. raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received. Really good. Right, because we're all sick, you know. So Yahweh Shah said that um, he have come, he have come not for them that are whole. I'm paraphrasing, you know, but he 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 come for those that are in need of a physician, man. Those that needed to be healed, man. Through what? Through the word, through the truth. So that's who that's who are being bitten, you know. That's the blind, the halt, the lame, and the poor. That's who they're speaking of, right? Verse twenty-two, and the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in, that my, house, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper, which goes back to many are called, but few are chosen, man. So, hey, Yabba Shemin Matter of fact, we're going to end it with this scripture. This is, uh... This is um, 2 Peter 1 and 10. It says, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling. Because it said many are called, right? So it says, give diligence to make your calling and election. That word election goes back to electos, which means uh, 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 chosen, to choose. So right here it says, uh, uh, make, give diligence to make your calling and election, your, your being chosen, make it sure. So many are called and few are chosen. But those many that were called didn't give diligence to make that calling sure, right? So wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. And, and that's the point, man. If we continue in, 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 in his word, in his truth, in his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, if we continue in Yahweh Shai, because he's, he's all of the above, then we will never fall, man. So, um, with that, man, ain't through the spirit. We hope you brothers were edified. You know, until next time, you know, we say sh shalom to you, lock him. Uh, we give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you Akim around the world preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity and with charity. Shalom.